Hi, in this session I am going to show you what are all the options available for the report. So to check the report options you need to go to the transaction port FDI2 because you all we already created a we already created a two reports. One is a balance report and another one is a line item display report. So I am going to the transaction port FDI2. So to change the report, you can double click on the report you want to change. Then the system will show on the right side the report options available. So here you can see the report options available, characteristics and variables and output types and options. So here the characteristics only these are the available characteristics for the balance reports. So we already choose uh, what is the relevant for our report. These are all the relevant for our report and input variables. These are all the variables or called some may be default variables or some may be defaulted at the time of execution. So the user still can change and some actually these are input variables. So here output types. So for the output types you have you have a different options like a graphical report or a classic drill down report or a object list. It means it will show as a ALV selections. So here when I select here, it's a detail list I want to see. So that's the reason I selected the details. So here the layout, this is where uh, you can maintain the header details, the report headers. So you can click on the header here. Now you can see variable headers. This is displayed here. So now if you want to maintain some header data, you click on the change button here so here you can see now this is a all the header details are blank here so now I would like to add here the general variables or selection parameters or characteristics so here I just want to add a general variable so general variable is a variable the author of the report execution date run date or anything that can be the variable type so here I choose report author author of the report or I just put a date data for so 10 so you can see here the default date here or what you can do if you select this one you don't know what is the details of this so you need to enter a variable name in front of it so what I can do is I just delete this now date of output so I can I keep it here so the place cursor data of output and so now you can see this is a date of output and then this is a enter. so at the end I want to give this is a user ID who executed this report
So I just chose user. Right, it was a 10 click. Okay. So now I selected these two and I give some space, or you can enter the below as well. And the other general variable I am going to choose is date. A report description or a system name or you can you can add all the details whatever is needed for your reporting requirements so I, I just show you these are all the options available here for example the selection parameters here you just want to know the selection parameters what you have keep under the general data selections will be shown here so if you don't have the any general data selections this cannot you cannot use as a selection parameters here so you cannot maintain any headers so this is a variables for the selection parameters where you maintain under the general data selections so here are the characteristics yes these are the characteristics where you used for your report so these or you may be used for your columns or you may be used under your general data selections. So now I just save. Now go back. So likewise you can maintain the footer also if you need the details for the footer. So here, the options. So these are all the printing options. You have mass printing options. You can maintain these printing options. Behave the options you choose in for the output. So you can have a different colors as well. So these are all the options for the output so here most important thing is here the layout so the layout you can maintain the what is the header details so after you maintain these report details under the report options so we are going to execute the report and show how the header was populated so to execute the report same you can execute click on execute So to execute the report you need to enter the input parameters now click on execute now you can see here under the report date of output and who is the user executed the report so you can see both the options when you executed the report likewise you can add more details what are all the details you needed for the report header.